look at the area of a triangle and this is the first of three videos. We're going to start with the easiest one which is the area of a right triangle. So we're given a right triangle with one leg that is six and another leg that is eight and a hypotenuse that is ten. Okay, the formula to find the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So we need to know the base and the height to plug into the formula. So in a right triangle it's very easy. The two legs are your base and your height. So we're just going to plug in six or eight for the base because that's a length of the uh, left to right side. And then the height, the up and down height, it's, since it's perpendicular, is six. So we're going to plug in six. Now you have a couple choices here. You can take half of eight, which seems to be the simplest. Half of eight is four and then times six, or you can multiply eight times six and then divide it by two or multiply it by half. Either way, I like to con um, simplify first. So a half of eight is four, and then four times six is 24. And remember, these are in inches, so area is two-dimensional, so it's inches squared. So on a right triangle, the key is to multiply the two legs together and then take half of that product. Now, today we're going to look at the area of a triangle, and this is the second video in a little series. And this one is an isosceles triangle. We're going to try to find the area of it. Well, area of a triangle is one-half the base times the height. And in this triangle, since we have an isosceles triangle, I'm going to use the side that is not the same as my base. You can turn it different ways, but I'm using that as my base because what's going to happen is I can figure my height out. Okay, to find the height, I'm going to draw an altitude straight down out of what we call the vertex angle up here, and it creates a right triangle. And since this is an isosceles triangle, we know that these two triangles on the left and on the right are the same. And we've taken this base of three and split it into two, two halves. So this, this section is one and a half, and this section is one and a half. Okay, so now I can use this right triangle to figure out this missing side. So I'm going to draw that below here. So my hypotenuse is still four, but this leg is now 1.5 and we don't know this other leg. So I'm going to call it A. So now I can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I don't know A, but I have B and I'm solving for C. So A squared plus 1.5 squared equals 4 squared. So a squared just comes down. 1.5 squared, grab your handy dandy calculator. 1.5 and hit your squared button and that's 222.25 and 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to take 16 and subtract 225. 16 minus 2.25, excuse me, 2.25 and that gives me a squared is 13.75. Now in your calculator, you can actually use this. You can do your second function button and x squared, and that gives you the square root, and then second and the negative sign that pulls up the last answer, and I get the square root of 13.375 is 3.7. So that is my height of my isosceles triangle. So now I can go over here and plug it into one half. And then my original base was this whole side, three, times my height of 3.7. And I'm gonna again take my calculator. Let's change half to a decimal. So that's gonna be 0.5 times three times 3.7. So 0.5 times three times 3.7 gives me an area of 5.55 square units. So if it's inches, it's square inches. If it's meters, it's square meters. Or if it's centimeters, it's square centimeters. And that's how you find the area of an isosceles triangle.